everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Rachel and I don't have a niche so I'm coming back with a video um, let's try to get I saw this picture of Margot Robbie and I think it was um, a, the press day it literally says the press day for once upon a time in Hollywood I'm going to be creating a look inspired by Margot Robbie's press day style, fit, makeup, hair, whatever you want to call it. The whole look. The whole shebang. This makeup I think is by the makeup artist Patty Dubroff. She has a very interesting uh, makeup style but I really particularly like the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood press day makeup that she did. I'm not a super huge fan of this makeup look but this one is gorgeous. We have the orangey yellow looking eyeshadow. It's a little bit brown on the under eye. Um, she's got this corally blush, blusha, and uh, these beautiful um, orangey coral lips. I thought I would recreate that. I also have kind of similar hair color to hers. It's uh, darker up here in my roots, kind of blonder towards the end. My wonderful gentleman, Cola, got this sweatshirt for me. Isn't it cute? Love Elmo. Love Tokyo. And I actually cut it to make it look more, I don't know, old-fashioned and hip. So I'm going to change out of this. I'm going to do one of those cheesy basic things where I just snap into my own outfit. This is not the exact same thing as what Margot Robbie was wearing, obviously. I just thought this was still pretty. It's long sleeves. It kind of makes me feel like a pirate, and I like that. To start this off, I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up. I'm going to start with the makeup first, just because it's easier for me to ruin my hair while I do makeup than ruin my makeup while I do my hair, while I'm sweating profusely. Look at that background. Anti-photographer. Oh. I just also want to say that all the products I use in this video will be mentioned down in the description box. To start off, I have prepped my skin with face wash, a hydrating serum, moisturizer, and now to finish the preparation, I'm going to be adding this Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. Whew, why can't I talk? That's like a mouthful for me. Also, my hands are clean. I always start off with clean hands because will help keep your skin looking better. I look like an egg. Let's get my nose flat for me. I've always been insecure about people looking at my nose. Like I really don't care anymore because what can you do? I've accepted it. I can't get a nose job to like bring down my nose. Also like that would look weird. I just have to let it still stay up. It's like either way my face is positioned like you're going to see my nostrils. That is so off topic and random. It's time to move on. Okay so by looking at this photo it looks like she's not really wearing a lot of face makeup. Obviously she's wearing face makeup but it kind of looks like her natural skin. So we're going to stick to as natural as possible with the skin. It doesn't look like she's wearing a lot of highlighter or anything so I'm just gonna work on correcting my under eye circles because it will look better once I put on eye makeup. I'm going to be using the NYX Dark circle concealer corrector in the shade medium it looks like this it's just this orangey concealer base and it's really going to help minimize my under eye circles because that's my problem area in terms of darkness because Margot Robbie looks like she doesn't have a lot of face makeup on we're going to be using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer it's a two-in-one foundation and concealer product. I actually really love it. I went into Sephora the other day and asked for some recommendations for foundation because I was looking for a clean foundation, but I also wanted something that wasn't going to clog my pores and make me break out. Clinique's not necessarily the cleanest. However, it hasn't been making me break out when I use it, and that makes me really, really happy. This one tends to be on the more neutral yellow side of the foundations because I am kind of in the mix. This color is perfect. It seems really light but it blends into my skin seamlessly and it's not super thick but it does give me a really nice coverage so I'm going to go ahead and apply that. It also comes like this like a little wand which is so nice when you're just concealing spots if you don't want to put it everywhere. 
Um, I'm going to start doing that with like my under eyes right here just this much because that's already a lot for me. Then I'm going to be taking it and putting it on my palm as I mix in these beautiful Illuminizer drops, the Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment um, Illuminizer. This stuff I had in my last video with the Clean Beauty product tryout and I actually really really like this as an Illuminizer to mix in with my foundation and since she, Margot Robbie, looks like she doesn't have any like highlighter on her skin any apparent or really obvious highlighter. I'm going to be mixing in these Illuminizer drops with this foundation just to give more of a dewy natural look and to throw in some highlighter because I love highlighter. I just feel like I want my skin to look fresh and this is how you kind of achieve the fresh skin look. So that should be enough. Um, face makeup actually might be a lot so we're gonna see. I do also remember to blend down your neck as well and get your ears because ears need love too. They are part of your face. They're attached to your face. And it looks really obvious if you have a different face color than your foundation if your ears are showing your real skin color. Anyways, my skin's been a little bit dry lately. So to kind of counteract that as best as I can, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Hangover 3-in-1 Too Faced Replenishing Primer and spray my face before I lock it all in with um, powder. So let's do that. I'm using the beloved Urban Decay Velvetizer to just lock in all the dry wetness because I'm not using any more wet wetness. That sounds so weird. I'm not using any other cream products on my face right now. So I'm going to lock all this in with a powder, but I'm going to be very careful with how much I apply because I don't want it to over dry out my skin. I don't understand how people bake their skin. It's always made like giving me weird patches and it's made my face look really flaky and uneven. So I just like to use kind of a flat pressing brush and just press this powder into my skin using more of a sparing amount but what it's going to do is set the liquid makeup and so this powder works perfectly for me. I used it when I was on Accutane. It's not super drying. Of course it depends on how much you use but I like taking a light fluffy blendy brush too and also using this specific tool to set my eyes with this powder. The next step I really want to do are my eyebrows because I feel like I usually start with my eyebrows. I'm just gonna go ahead and just fluff them right now. So you can tell in this picture that her eyebrows are brushed out. She kind of has, I have a lot cleaner eyebrows than her. She has more grown out eyebrows, especially underneath, but I'm not going to grow out my eyebrows underneath. So we're just going to make our my eyebrows a little bit thicker and work with that. So I usually use my go-to e.l.f. I've realized that this matches my eyebrows so well. For a really long time I was using too red of an eyebrow pencil and I didn't really realize it till too late. This is like perfect for my eyebrows. So I'm going to mostly be using the powder instead of the usual cream that I use for my eyebrows. This is in color medium. I'm going to be taking this really, really thin Morphe brush. It looks like this. It's just a really thin tip eyeliner brush. And I'm going to be using that for my eyebrows. I'm going to tap into this color right here and just kind of fluff up and make my eyebrows look a little bit more unruly and thicker. There's nothing I can really do about pulling them up and kind of creating those false besides doing this. So I'm going to use eyebrow setter to just set my eyebrows to this. I hope that's not too reddish because now I'm being like, what the heck? Anyway, so now I'm going to be taking my Brow Setter by Benefit, and it looks like this, and I'm going to fluff up my brows so that it kind of looks a little bit unruly, and hopefully it's going to set that way. I feel like that looks pretty good for what it is. Like, I feel like my eyebrows look kind of crazy. Don't worry, I'm just going to roll with it. So I'm going to be using this bad boy. This is the Huda, Huda Beauty. Uh, desert dusk palette it is really gorgeous and we're going to be going into this 
orange color. This is going to be our primary color. The color is blazing. I'm just going to take a blending brush like this. It's pretty fine at the end, so it'll give me a nice even blend. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that. I'm not too concerned about primer because I feel like my eyelids are still a little bit tacky. Plus her eyeshadow looks very, very light. So I'm not too worried about the color payoff. I'm just going to start with the crease because I don't want to mess anything up right now. And really lightly start blending it in. She really brought it up, like all the way up. So we're going to just keep going. As you can tell, the shadowing is going to be a bit different with this eye and this eye because of the way I have my ring light set up. I'm really sorry. I don't know if I can fix it right now. So I'm just going to work with it. How are we doing? <clears throat> I'm going to take this small crease brush. It's meant for like kind of the creases, I'm pretty sure, but I use it for underneath my eye. I'm going to tap into that orange color, the same one, blazing, and just get underneath my eye. This is mostly going to be covered up with the dark color but if there's anything they teach you in art class it's that you always start from light to dark so we're gonna do that also the key is blending just like blend until you pass out another two cents is what goes on the top must go on the bottom it's another rule rule of thumb i have i don't know if i've talked about this before i'm sure i have but one time I used a purple eyeshadow and only put it on the top and I ended up looking absolutely psycho. I'm going to take the Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills, ABH, let's call it ABH, palette, the Renaissance palette. This looks disgusting, I'm really sorry. I really beat it up. And they even have a burnt orange color. I wonder how that would look un underneath my eye. So I might start with that, but it's almost a little too red and I might move down to this one and then do like a slight, slight, slight touch of cypress umber. So again, the colors I'm taking, I'm going to start with the burnt orange, kind of blend that into the orange I have right now. Then I'm going to take raw sienna and smoke it out a little bit more, and then I'm going to end with cypress umber. Remember, I'm starting from light to dark like a painter. So this is it so far. I did a little bit of concealer touch up underneath my eyes to make it not so smoked out. As usual, I have my NYX brown, dark brown 903 eye pencil. I'm going to line my tight line. I actually don't have a black eyeliner because black is too harsh for me personally, so I use brown. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, I do have to say, like, it kind of looks like I have eyeshadow going here and here. It is not, it's just the shape of my eye. I don't know how to fix it because it's my eye. So yeah, sorry, I don't have her eye shape. Cool, I think now we can start curling our eyelashes. It doesn't necessarily look like she has hers curled, but my eyelashes are so short that I really do like curling them. My favorite mascara is this Great Lash Maybelline mascara. I mean, it's not like the best mascara in the world, but I like it for its tiny little wand. It does seem like she has slight highlighter in her, the corner, like tear duct of her eye. So I'm going to go ahead and put this gorgeous Nefertiti color. Cool. That just adds a little brightness to the eye. It does look like she's wearing a tad of bronzer, just a smidgen on the cheeks. This bronzer is by ABH, I'll link it down below. Yeah, just a little bit to warm up my face and I'm using this as like a nose contour almost. And bringing that down, getting my ears. Okay, so this is it so far. I'm gonna take this blush brush by Morphe and from the Too Faced Eggnog palette, it's a Christmas palette, I'm embarrassing. I'm taking this Peach Cobbler Blush. The reason why I'm taking this blush specifically is because it is warm and peachy following the color palette that she uses. So we're going to lightly put... It's just so slight what she does. To finish up the makeup look until I move on to hair and actually looking like Margot Robbie, 
I'm going to be staining my lips with this Cha Cha tint by Benefit. It's a corally orange lip tint and it's really going to mimic her orangey stained lips. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. Okay, so I changed the camera and lighting settings. I hope it looks good and you guys can see it better. So now that this has dried, it is a little pink, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep working on the look. It looks pretty natural, but it also looks like her lips are defined, so I'm going to use this lip liner. It's Peekaboo Neutral by NYX, and just line my lips. I'm not going to overline the top lip because it is already big and she has a smaller upper lip, but I'm going to get the bottom and then I'm going to be taking Shanghai Spice by MAC Lipsticks. It is a nice peach color pretty orange but not super orange and I'm gonna put that all over my lips now I'm gonna blot it well, I think I'm gonna take an eyeshadow I'm gonna take that blazing eyeshadow and just lightly dust my lips and hope that it gives me an orangey lip look I'm gonna put this eyeshadow in the middle of my lips well, when in doubt, use eyeshadow on your lips. Last but not least for the lips, we're going to take this Soap and Glory lipstick. I got this in London, so I really hope that you can still buy it. I don't know if you can. It's naked beige, and it looks like this. It's just basically a little bit darker brown. You can tell that it's almost an ombre, so on the outer part, she has more brown lips than in the inner, which is more orangey. So let's go ahead and do that. I just put it on a little... And this is technically an eyeliner brush from Sigma, but it's too fat to be an eyeliner brush, so I use it for lipstick when I'm trying to really get specific. I'm going to go ahead and just dust it on the outer. That's it. I can't believe the makeup is finally done. This is the finishing makeup from Margot Robbie. We're going to get to the hair and earrings, and it's really going to look more like her. I'm going to reset my face with this setting spray and we will get to the hair after this. So basically you can't really tell that well but I curled my hair and what I did to curl it, the curls are drying right now, is use this one and a half barrel from Hot Tools. It's really great. All I did was just curl it all one side going away from my face on this side doing the same thing away from my face on this side because I want that Hollywood glam look I'm going to brush it out using a light brush to brush this out I really just want like loose curls like that oh, that's really pretty so I'm going to just keep brushing that out and then I will be able to do touch-ups after I kind of see what I'm working with. So it looks like what she has going on is um, pulled up sides like this. Pretty like left down like that. Pulled up like that and clipped back pretty natural. So I'm going to pin it back with a pretty bobby pin, like something that has pearls because I think it looks prettier than just using a normal bobby pin. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see. It just looks like the, this bobby pin back. Now, the fun part is that she has a little strand of hair. Like a piece, like this. Mine's a little shorter than hers. And I'm gonna curl it away from my face. So to do the finishing touches, I'm going to be switching out just my studs. Let's take these out. I'm going to be replacing them with these medium-sized hoops. You see? So I'm going to put them in my ear right now. So this is the finished makeup and hair look. 
I hope you guys like it and found it pretty similar to Margot Robbie's. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture right here of hers so you can see a side-by-side -side because when I'm watching these kind of videos, I always like to see the side-by-side. -side. Okay, she has a team of people helping her, so got to give me a little bit of mercy. This is me trying to be Margot Robbie. Anyway, um, yeah. Cool. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got to see the kind of transformed Margot Robbie fresh face once upon a time in Hollywood look. If you want to see more of me, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a lot in terms of knowing that you guys like this content and stuff I can keep making. Also hit the th thumbs up button or thumbs down if you didn't like this. If it sucked, thumbs it down. That'd be a bummer for me. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments and what other videos you want me to do or see. I think that's it. And I'm going to end it here. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.